has to include a whole lot of people, including the teachers and the students who apparently, and I was not aware of this, did not respond at first. Um, okay, if we carry on, I'd like to ask uh, Anand Teltumble to speak. Introduction, I am Anand Tail Tumde and uh, I am not a professor or anything, I am management consultant. I used to be CEO of a company and work for CPDR. <coughs> um, I think uh, I would differ a little from general viewpoint. It's not a question of something like Shivasena or the banning books or anything. It's a matter of subverting our institutions and that is more serious and this is going on and on. There is nothing to be pleased about the reaction of the civil society also. It has not been commensurate and I can never hope that whatever we do, the book will be in reinstated. <coughs> it is just a protest. So this is, this, is the, this is again a piece of life that we have been uh, going through that this, is hap this happens a little bit here and there some uh, murmur takes place and things go on and on. It's a <coughs> matter of abominable conduct of a VC. You know, he actually, this, this itself is uh, objectionable that he comes out with a backdated approval of the committee, which is a different committee and projects that he, he has got, he has followed the procedure and the board of studies, the different board of studies had approved it. This itself is a very big irregularity and the uh, entire probably governor and the government and all big politicians etc. are a party to that. This man, right from his appointment, this whatever his name, Rajan Valukar or whatever, his actually credentials have been questionable. <coughs> his entire PhD, right from PhD and all that, this kind of people actually get elevated to head our institutions. That is what is happening and uh, we have been keeping quiet. And such kind of people, what are they capable of? This, that, exactly that, what he did, is he is capable of doing that. Somebody like um, uh, Aditya Thakre, 20 years boy, he objects to it, he has not read a book and all. I am not going into merits and demerits of the book. Earlier things also, uh, earlier times also, the such kind of books, banning, etc. Shivasena tried it. That is, that is its business. So Shivasena does its business. That is not a uh, new thing that is happening. But what is new here is this fellow just withdrawing the book within 24 hours and coming out all kinds of things after some time, obviously in collusion or with support of his bosses and his boss is governor. My immediate reaction when it happened was somebody asked me from the newspapers and I asked that if I had been a governor, I'd just dismiss him. That's it. That's the action that we should be demanding even now. That he is not capable of VC of this, such a great institution. That uh, I think that is a uh, uh, <coughs> period. You see, uh, talking about the subverting of institutions, this is going on in day in and day out. Now, recently, this Ayodhya judgment, you know, the bench, you know, uh, they constitute a bench, something like a design sari or shirt like that two people, Hindu, two and one Muslim, etc., cannot object. And then he produces a judgment which actually would be palatable to the market. What is this? I, this is happening day in and day out, and that we should be concerned with in this context. Um, <clears throat> book is all right. Book is a. There are a lot many uh, books which are bad and good and all that thing. We cannot go into detail. The board of studies. I think this is not uh, instituted. Meaning in the syllabus just uh, yesterday or something. This has been uh, there for the last four years and it was being taught as it is read out today. We find that it's a brilliant book. Actually, it actually portrays the uh, piece of life and very uh, brilliantly at that. And anybody could take it like, but. Nonetheless, nobody needs to go into book. That is not our um, uh, sort of thing. What is going to happen? What is happening to this country? 
what is happening to its democratic institutions, how these kinds of incapable people, people get elevated to these high uh, positions and they actually uh, uh, subvert these institutions. These are the matters. The entire thing is now it appears that it is in politicians and they can manipulate, you know, they have their um, uh, puppets like um, uh, heading these institutions and they behave as they, as they as their bosses actually uh, want them to, to do. But these are the matters probably we should be uh, thinking about. As Shiv Sena keeps on doing, lot many things they, that did. I, I can tell you my uh, uh, personal experience. The recently one fellow, a nondescript kind of incident, like Vijay Satpute, one fellow wrote a book on Ambedkar. And this government, I don't know, I am <coughs> known enough in the government circles what uh, I stand for, but mistakenly probably they referred the book to me, that whether they should ban it. I said, the book is third class, that is okay, because he had just blurted out anything that he wanted to against Ambedkar, etc., without any reference, without anything, etc. <coughs> but still, having criticized, then I lastly wrote, still I do not want the book to be banned. Because books, books, you, books cannot be burnt or banned, you know, books are not meant for that. Readers will decide what, what to do with the books. So that's not a matter. So I think it's not a matter of, uh, let us focus on this issue that it is none of VC's business to buckle to the pressure of some such uh, fellow. Uh, that is what is more obnoxious and uh, we should be focusing on that, not a book, not a Shiv Sena's business, what does it do and all these things is well known to everybody. If we come to the stature, we can take on Shiv Sena, that is a different matter. but. Uh, as a civil society or uh, people standing for freedom of expression and all that thing, I think we should be shouting loud enough, loud enough that this book should get reinstated tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, the undermining of institutions, that's an important point. I don't quite agree with uh, Anand about the, whether the quality of the book is irrelevant. I think it is relevant, that it is, it, it is a very good book and that it is highly regarded and that it was uh, taken off the syllabus not because it was a bad book but because these goons demonstrated against it and burnt it. So that I think is important that it's nothing to do with the quality of the work. It is only to do with the muscle power of the people demanding it. And that is what is really bad. Um, lastly, I'd like to ask uh, Kumar Prashant to come and speak. Uh, this is Kumar Prashant. I'm a writer, a journalist, and a Gandhian activist. <coughs> uh, just to change the flavor of this evening, I will speak in Hindi. Baat Rus se shuru karta hoon. Soviet sang se jabo divided nahi tha. और स्टालिन का शासन तुरंत तुरंत खत्म हुआ था क्रूशिव पावर में था और इसी तरह की कोई मीटिंग होगी शायद इससे भी बड़ी मीटिंग होगी जिसमें क्रूशिव स्टालिन को क्रिटिसाइज कर रहा था लेफ्ट राइट ही वाज रिजेक्टिंग स्टालिन एंड हिज स्टाइल ऑफ फंक्शनिंग एवरीथिंग और तब मीटिंग के आखिर में से कोई आदमी खड़ा हुआ शायद कुछ अंधेरा होगा उसका फायदा उसने उठाया और उसने पीछे से खड़े होकर पूछा कि भाई जब स्टालिन ऐसा कर रहा था तब तुम कहां थे वाई यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग एट दैट टाइम पिन ड्रॉप साइलेंस मीटिंग हो गया अचानक कोई बड़ा आदमी हो कोई क्वेश्चन करे थोड़ी देर के लिए खुश से भी सहम गया 
आप में से जिन लोगों को खुद शेव की याद होगी ये वॉज अ वेरी बल्की मैन ए बुलडॉग लाइक मैन देन इट थंड विथ हम्पिंग दी टेबल हु इज पॉक देर वॉज नो रिस्पॉन्स ही वेटेड फॉर सम टाइम देन अगेन ही स्पोक हु इज पॉक क्वेश्चन और तब उसने धीरे से कहा जिसने भी आवाज उठाई थी उसको शायद जवाब मिल गया होगा कि मैं उस समय क्यों नहीं बोला डर पावर मसल पावर हो पॉलिटिकल पावर हो रिलीजियस पावर हो सैनिटिकल पावर हो उसका डर तो मैं सबसे पहले आप सब लोगों को बधाई देता हूं कि आज इस समय में कम से कम इतने सारे लोग और मैं मानता हूं कि इससे बहुत सारे लोग होंगे जो आज मीटिंग में नहीं आए हैं जो डर से बाहर निकल करके इस इशू पर यहां जमा हुआ है मैंने ये किताब नहीं पढ़ी है और इसको बोलने यहां आकर बोलने से पहले इसको मैं पढ़ लू इसकी मैं कोई जरूरत भी नहीं मानता हूं मैं यहां पर इस किताब को डिफेंड करने आया भी नहीं हूं मैं ये नहीं कह सकता हूं ये किताब अच्छी है कि नहीं है मेरे मन में एक सवाल जरूर उठता है कि यूनिवर्सिटीज के सिलेबस में किसी किताब को सेलेक्ट करने का क्राइटेरिया क्या है हाउ डू यू सेलेक्ट ए बुक फॉर ए सिलेबस स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ना है जो आर्ट के और नोवेल के और राइटिंग के बहुत जानकार नहीं है उनको पढ़ने के लिए कोई किताब आप कैसे चूज करते हो एक सवाल तो मेरा ये है जिसके बारे में हम सब लोगों को कंसर्न होना चाहिए आज के विषय को हम क्रिटिसाइज करें और दूसरे लोगों को क्रिटिसाइज करें लेकिन अगर पास्ट में जाएंगे तो पता चलेगा कि इस बुक के सेलेक्शन के समय भी कुछ ऐसा ही हुआ होगा इस बुक यानी आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सच ए लॉन्ग जर्नी किसी भी बुक के सिलेक्शन के समय ये पूरा जो प्रोसीजियर है ये करप्ट प्रोसीजियर है जिसमें से बुक सिलेबस में इंटर किए जाते हैं मैं सुनता हूं जानता भी हूं ऐसी किताबों को सिलेबस में रखने के लिए पैसे दिए जाते हैं मुझको मालूम नहीं इस बुक के बारे में क्या है लेकिन ये पूरी सिस्टम जो बनी हुई है इस सिस्टम में हर एट एवरी स्टेप यू कैन मिस यूटिलाइज दिस सिस्टम ये चिंता की बात है इस पर हमको ध्यान देना चाहिए हर लिखा हुआ और बोला हुआ शब्द एक टाइम बॉम्ब है और इसीलिए हर पावर स्टेट पावर हो पॉलिटिकल पावर हो रिलीजियस पावर हो एनी काइंड ऑफ पावर उनको सबसे ज्यादा डर शब्दों से लगता है कोई बोले नहीं कोई लिखे नहीं कोई कहे नहीं कोई सुने नहीं तो स्टेटस को मेंटेन रहता है जब आप अलग तरह की बात कहते हो अलग तरह की बात सुनते हो अलग तरह की बात लिखते हो हो सकता है वो बहुत कमजोर हो हो सकता है इरेलीवेंट हो बहुत रेलिवेंट हो बहुत पावरफुल हो लेकिन वो किसी समय लोगों का मूड चेंज कर सकते हैं इसीलिए हर पावर उसको दबाने की कोशिश करता है मैं आपको उदाहरण अगर दू उन्नीस